there! In today's video, I'm going to help you figure out why your cake is bulging and what you can do to fix it right now. So I decided to do a video on this because the most popular blog post on my website is Cake911, Help! My Cake is Bulging. I wanted to put together a video to also elaborate on some of the tips and tricks that I give in the blog post. So if your cake is bulging, the first question that you want to ask yourself is, did I add too much simple syrup to my cake layers? Now, I know from experience there is such a thing as adding too much simple syrup. So if you were to do this, what will happen is that you make your cake layers so soggy that you won't be able to add icing between your layers or to ice or put a crumb coat onto the cake itself. So again, you just want to be mindful that you're not putting too much simple syrup onto your cake layers. The second question you want to ask yourself is what kind of icing am I using? I would highly, highly recommend using an all butter recipe of buttercream, whether that be American style like I show how to make in this video or a Swiss meringue buttercream. By using an all butter recipe, it helps with the stability of your cake. You're able to place the icing between the layers and also to put the crumb coat onto your cake place it in the refrigerator and allow it to harden so bulging becomes less likely. So the third question you wanna ask yourself is whether or not the icing that you're using as a barrier to contain your filling or the icing that you're using to fill your cake between the layers is too loose. What'll actually happen is your cake layers will start to shift around on you and this becomes very problematic as you're icing your cake. So you definitely wanna make sure that the icing that you're using between your layers is at least a medium consistency icing. So if your cake is bulging, the fourth question that you wanna ask yourself is whether or not you made your crumb coat thin enough. Now a crumb coat is a very thin layer of icing that you place onto your cake first. And it's meant to encapsulate the crumbs or anything that would have come off of your cake during that first layer of icing. Your crumb coat should be so thin that you can actually see your cake through your icing. Now, if you make the crumb coat thick, what happens is when you go to put on your final coat of icing, it becomes way down on the side. And this icing can slip down the side of your cake and cause a bulge down by the base of your cake. So if you're having issues with bulging, this may be the culprit. If you're experiencing a bulging cake, the other question that you should ask yourself is whether or not your cake is being chilled or if you're making your cake too cold. There's a fine line between chilling your cake and making it cold. Chilling your cake for five to 10 minutes after applying your crumb coat is fine. However, refrigerating your cake for 30 plus minutes after applying your crumb coat is not a good idea. When a cake leaves the refrigerator, it actually releases air as the cake itself works to acclimate to the room temperature. Now, air can get trapped under the icing and form pockets which translate into bulges on the outside of your cake. If you're concerned that your cake is too cold, allow it to sit at room temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes before adding the final coat of icing. So I'm gonna give you a tip. To help your cake release air as it chills, you may want to consider lightly weighing it down by placing a clean, dry, greaseproof cake board over the top and sitting a medium weight can or jar over the top of your board. Again, this is going to help your cake to release the air that could form bubbles that would translate into a bulge on the outside of your cake. Okay, so what happens when you have your cake is done and you see the bulge or the bulge is there and it's just irritating you. If your cake is bulging and you feel like there is nothing that you can do about it, I would highly recommend just going ahead and removing all of the buttercream and just try re-icing your cake. Now that includes doing a new crumb coat and also doing a new final coat layer using the tips that I shared in this video. Now, if you're running low on time and if you're running low on icing, what I would recommend you do, just go ahead and remove the icing where the bulge is occurring and just re-ice that section of your cake. So I hope you found this information helpful. Again, this is an issue that a lot of cake artists and cake decorators deal with from time to time. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button below. And if you want to grow and learn more about cake decorating, be sure to subscribe to my channel to get more cake decorating tips and tutorials. As always, thanks for watching.